guys, Maestro here in the inaugural Pokemon Showdown Analysis video. Today we're doing my first ever UU tier. I have uh, been a long time OU player, this will be my first time doing a UU. Uh, this, I'll do my, I'll be my, analyzing my first two matches ever on it. They're actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd have to play a few before I got anything worth analyzing, but this will be my first two matches on it here. First, let's meet my team. I take a long time, uh, very meticulous about team building on, uh, for making my competitive Pokemon teams. Uh, I've always been like that. I always take a long time analyzing the tier and everything. I don't do it usually by trial and error. Sometimes I'll end up, you know, changing, tweaking my team by that, but I'll always take a long time just studying the tier and then try and meld together a team that I think works and usually I don't have to make too many changes. Uh, I like this one so far, but anyway, first I wanted to make a, I went through it, I scrolled through the, uh, what's, what's in the old UU tier these days and uh, looked for a core. So the first thing I got was this Gudra which I wanted to be part of my core because it is so bulky and yet it's so hard. So we have Swamp Master G, my Gudra. Uh, it's an assault fest with uh, a modest nature. And you can see his moveset there. Uh, it just, it just is so bulky. And with the assault vest, it's gonna take some hits. And along with that, I wanted a Porygon 2 to where I have this special defensive beast and this defensive beast. Uh, so I use the Rubik's Cube uh, with the bold nature for defense. Um, he's got the Toxic and the Recover, so he's good for that too, for the nice support and everything. So there's my core. From there, we have Cooks 2, which is a play off my Cooks from OU tier, which is, of course, Road of Wash. It's been on all my OU teams since uh, Gen 4, I believe. Maybe, no, not Gen 4, because he was still a ghost type then, so since Gen 5. Um, and uh, this is just a standard set for that. So you got the bold nature. But this team is heavily based on being able to scout. So you can see we have the Volt Switch here. Now we bring in the Dittran, my Flygon, who's Scarfed, and uh, he's got the U-turn there. And there's actually more U-turning to come, so it's very, very good with scouting. Uh, just a regular Scarfed Flygon. I used him way back on my original Gen 4 team, which is when I got into everything, so that, he's got a little bit of nostalgia for me. And here's my Mega, Meta Shredder, Mega Agron, who is just a beast. I mean, I've only played these two games, but I can tell just by looking at this thing. And I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, he's, uh, he just has the Heavy Slam and Earthquake, and then I haven't actually this tier might not be as heavily based on entry hazards as OU, so we'll, we'll see. I mean, he doesn't have a, a huge move pool anyway to let him use coverage or anything like that, So, but I do have the phasing available for that. And then finally, I have a banded Infernape Dr. Z, uh, who also has the U-turn, so I have a, a very nice scouting team along with that big time defensive core that also hit fairly nicely too, especially Gudra. So with that, let's uh, take a look. My first match against Eric the Kid, there you can take a look at his team. Um, you know, I figured I'm the bottom of the ladder, I'm 
found to face some scrubs, but you know, all the golf matches I had, but they both knew what they were doing. So this team, I actually, I was super unfamiliar with what a lot of the things ran, or what they were going to run. I have no idea these guys are out there, so I just went ahead and went with the the Rotom, sent them out there, just to just take a look. So he sends out Chandelure, and apparently it ran Hidden Power Water, which was kind of weird. So I didn't know what he was going to do there, so I got out of that, and uh, I had no idea what a mile he was going to do, but I definitely didn't want to get Ice Beam, so I got out of there, sent in Dr. Z, Confuse Ray. See, I wasn't expecting that. I surprised I might be standard, for all I know. I mean, I haven't, I hadn't looked into all every single one, so I didn't know. So he takes care of that, and it's not really a big deal to me. I, looking at this team, I didn't think I was going to need Dr. Z in, in this match. So I sent out Swamp Master G, and it just puts it to sleep. Now I'm looking to just hit it with uh, the grass move, um, which he's coiling, so it's not going to do that much now. I'm still hitting it. I want to see what it's going to do. The skull does nothing, of course. Um, so when I wake up here, uh, I'm going to use that. He's now times two, and I use the power whip, and it does 22%. So, he gets the confused there, so I'm just going to go for the Draco Meteor, and luckily I get it. So that takes care of that. He was probably planning on some stall thing here. So, with the confused, I switch back in with Cook's 2, and take the hidden power water again, which, again, I have no idea why. So he must not think that I'm scarfed, because when I bring in the dip train there, he just go ahead and takes the earthquake. So I, of course, get out of there. He figured that out, because I'm guessing that was scarfed, the chandelure. So I bring in Rubik's Cube to take that. Um, and he gets out of there, and I, I just go ahead and send out Toxic for whatever he's going to send out there. I figured it wasn't going to be Beedrill. And now he uh, sets up. I thought maybe he was just going to hit it, but instead he sets up, which is kind of fine for me because, bam, look at how he just took that. He just took that ice punch. He's actually uh, lived that had it not been for the toxic, so he's actually pretty good for me. So he'll bring in his own Gudra and take care of that. I assume that was a speed tie. So... He thunderbolts that, which gets the paralyze, at, and the hex. It's actually, it's actually genius here. What he just did is that he knew that the Draco meteor was not going to kill outright because it only did about fifty percent. So he did the only thing he could do, which was take hit me with a thunderbolt and hope that I get paralyzed and then hit me with the Draco Meteor after that. And it happened to exactly work in his favor, but it was, it, it was like he knew, I, I sent him out there knowing that he couldn't just kill, just one hit KO me, and he knew that he needed to try that, and it worked, it was nice. It was impressive. I, I actually sent him a well played after that. So I come out here in Outrage, um, and this pretty much is able to finish things up here. The sash there, the bug buzz, but luckily I get the third hit without getting confused. Now, when he sends out the B drill, which of course is a mega B drill, um, I figure he's going to protect, so, and I don't want to risk the confusion. So I just switch out, Meta Shredder comes in, there's the protect, and he can't do shit. So, uh, he does the drill run, not even close. And then that ends that, so GG for my uh, first battle on UU. So let's transition right over to my next one. So 
against Exodus on my other side now. Exodus 420. So I take a look at his team. He's got the Chandelure too. This one was a different one though. It wasn't Scarf. Uh, and some other things out there that I have no idea we're going to do, like a Sceptile. And uh, some certain things that I'm unfamiliar with in this gen, what they're going to look like. Because I've only played OU. Only ever ever played OU. Some, some of these guys were in OU and old ones. but So... I, again, sent out Rodon. I have no idea who we're going to send out. And he sends out the Mega Absol, who is just scouting. And I don't even care, and I'm just going to do it again. But he sucker punches. Doesn't do that much. So I'm, I, know, I know he doesn't want to take... take I'm just going to mock punch. I don't know if... Um, I think he might have been over-predicting there, thinking that I know he wasn't just going to take that and then switch in hoping for a setup or something. But otherwise, not a great switch in there. I think it, I think it was an over-predict on his part. So I'm able to just easily take care of the Aerodactyl. So I, uh, that's banded, so I had to get out of there. Cause I'm switching here, and he gets to go through a little wisp and... Not gonna do anything there. So I just volt switch that. I don't know what he's gonna use, but I bring in the dip train, and he ends up using Shadow Ball, which luckily I live because it was important that I had one. And he's Scarf, and he's a great revenge killer. So he switches out, and we start this little game of me, of of, of a revolving door here, where I earthquake the Sceptile, switch over to Rubik's Cube, he leech seeds me. And I'm basically feeling him out here. He just wants to take the thing here, and I'm toxic. But he apparently doesn't care, because I'm just going to do it again. And then he's going to take it. Actually, I think he's going to... I thought he was going to switch there, because he knew I was going to toxic. I thought he was going to switch to the tentacle. He didn't do it. So I'm just like, whatever, I'll recover. And we do that again. And he can just take it. So that's what happens. So this time I poison him. Because I thought he was going to switch to the tentacle the first time after he saw what was coming. But, no. He did, I think he didn't think that I'd just be able to recover all the damage he just took. But I recovered it again. And I don't want to take whatever he's going to do. I don't feel like I need Cook Stew in this. So I send him out to take whatever that was. And he takes care of that. So I know for sure he does not want to take a fighting move. And I U-turn here. So we start this again, where I switch over to Dip Train and er Earthquake. And he once again goes to Sceptile. And we're going to start this over again. I'm going to go back to either... Yeah, I go back to Rubik's Cube. And... This time I just want to, or this day, this time he switches in. Yeah, he does actually go tentacle this time, and I just recover that off to see what's gonna happen. I have no idea how much I can take away with him on a thunderbolt, so I try it, and it's not as much as I hoped because he's just recovering all that back. So I switch over to Swamp Master G, and I have no idea. I. I I apparently forgot how much of a defensive boss Tentacruel is because I try to uh, power whip it. It does nothing after the burn. But other than that, the burn doesn't do really much to me. So I'm, now I'm going to Draco Meteor it. And that does a good amount. And of course I have to get out of there after that. For the special attack loss. So we start this over again. I see that he was setting up, and I figured he's just going to throw out another level of toxic spikes. So it gives me a good chance to switch in. He's just protected, which is good for me. So we start this again, where I E-Quake him. We do it once again, and we do this revolving door one more time. And once again, this switch is just like that. back 
Mexican swamp man for Dean. He goes with Soy Pond, which of course does nothing with the freaking assault vest. So I Draco Meteor and he protects, and I don't give a crap. I'm just gonna do it again. And he even tries to outright kill me with Skull, which does nothing. And I do it again. And then the burn damage is gonna end up killing me. So this time I'm for sure he's not going to him. So I outrage him in the face. And this cleans up pretty nicely because he doesn't think I'm scarped, so he doesn't go. I don't know why he wouldn't get Sucker Punch there because it would have killed, but he didn't Sucker Punch. So <laughs> I don't know if it would have mattered in the end, but I'm able to just easily take out that Mega Absol because he didn't Sucker Punch. So I switch in my Meta Shredder to go up against his, as it of course is not Mega. And he pointlessly stealth rocks here because I am now going to sweep the rest of his team. Just by doing Earthquake. So, GG to Exodus420. Um, and those were my first two matches in EU. I, uh, I like the tier so far. It seems pretty, uh, I, I like the the assortment of Pokemon I'm seeing. It's nice to just not see all the same things, see some new ones, and yet they're still cool and everything. Uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna continue with that, um, and I'm gonna do some OU too, of course. And, uh, with that, I will uh, see you guys next time. Uh, so, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.